Hey guys, hope you've been well. But one of you guys commented and said, well actually isn't proper, and that I should be saying, hope you've been good. Because well is really only talking about your health. But I don't know. I don't know if I can change it this late in the game. Anyway, I'm going a little more gray, man. I sold my taco um, to buy an older silver taco so I'd blend in more with kind of the regular, regular people and be more gray, man. Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, so in the first part of the series, we talked about on body carry, what you carry on your body every day. Second part of the video, we talked about in bag video. For those that were asking, I got like a bunch of comments on that video for me to go through the whole bag contents. I have another video on my channel that's about that. So then we're getting into uh, vehicular EDC. So I'm hanging out here with uh, some of my friends. We were talking about our builds, all the overlanding stuff we're gonna do. So we got some stuff kind of hanging out. Here, do you wanna see his, this is my buddy, Philip. You guys know Philip. he's actually recording. This is his forerunner. He just recently got a lift some sliders. We're talking about how we're gonna outfit it with like Pelican cases and some other stuff. He's thinking about a whole like drawer system inside. Anyway, we're not talking about that in this video. But I will mention I also got lift components to lift my truck a little bit. So I have plans, a modest lift, like a two, two to three inch. So I have plans for that. But I'll go to that in, a, in another video when it's done. This video we're talking about what's inside of the truck. So, I don't know the best way to do it, but I'm not gonna dive too deep into the gear. Let me guys know in the comments below if you want me to do like a full detailed gear review or breakdown, I guess, because I kind of did that in the past where I just went through my whole truck, just filmed on my cell phone. It got a ton of views and a ton of hate because my truck's naturally like a little bit dirty because I'm always out doing things and in the mountains and I clean it and vacuum it like, you know, every couple weeks. Uh, but we're just gonna briefly go through kind of the gear, kind of the mindset around your EDC for your truck, I guess. So yeah, vehicle EDC, I'll, I'll kind of give you a walkthrough of the stuff I have in my car and how I lay it out. I'm not exactly sure how to format this video because I kind of want to show you some details, but again, if I went into every specific thing, my whole tool bag and all that stuff, it would take a while, so it's gonna kind of be in between, gonna show you some specific gear, but mostly kind of how I have stuff laid out in my truck, which is a 2016 Tacoma. And the philosophy is I, st I don't wanna fill my truck up completely full of anything that I could ever need. So I kind of think of the logical, uh, the logical scenarios that I'll be in, so the everyday stuff like cup holders and things like that, but then also kind of the emergency gear because you're in a vehicle, you may get in a car crash, you may see somebody else in a car crash, you may be, in your office, but your vehicle's right in your parking lot, so you can run out to your car to get something you might need, tools, medical supplies, if it's the only place you have them, things like that. So it's a, for me, my truck is not only a vehicle to get from point A to point B, but it's also kind of a mobile toolkit in a sense. So it's got some spares, it's got tools, obviously, extra medical gear. And then when I am going somewhere, you know, off-roading, wheeling, driving out to a hike, anything like that, then I can add more stuff to it or take away stuff, whatever. But I'm gonna kind of walk you through basically what's in my truck as a baseline all the time. And whether this is too much stuff for you or not, I don't really know. Some people will say, well, you should have X, Y, and Z still in your truck that you don't even have in there. You're so unprepared. And other people will be like, you're a paranoid freak to have that much stuff. So again, it's EDC stuff even in your truck is kind of hard because you're never gonna make everyone happy. So yeah, the philosophy I guess is you think of your plausible scenarios that you could potentially be in car accident for instance or responding to somebody else in a car accident or some event at your office or for me like I do a lot of home improvement stuff so I kind of have like a base set of tools like I keep a drill and stuff in the back in case I need to help my dad with a project or build something at work and I don't have my tools that are at home with me or I didn't like somebody didn't ask me to bring them specifically I kind of have a base level of stuff as well so that's kind of how my trucks laid out again this video is going to be a little weird and a little less structured I guess than the other two in the series because I'm kind of going to do a walk through 
just to give you some ideas of storage solutions and places, uh, obviously this, this video is specific to a Tacoma, but a lot of it, it can carry over to, you know, whatever, maybe you drive a minivan or something and you can kind of take some of the, some of the storage ideas I have and use them for yourself. Okay. So we're not going to get too detailed, but I am going to maybe mention a couple things here and there. So when I'm sitting here in my driver's seat, there's a few things that I want kind of close access, uh, quick access, easy access to. Uh, and that's, I have this little panel here. I don't know if they make this anymore. This was like a Maxpedition admin panel that I just put some Velcro, uh, sticky Velcro, and that's stuck to it. Here I have a extra Glock mag, a little work light with a magnet. Uh, this is a Benchmade triage, some other stuff. I had a headlamp in here. I have some like, trash bags and Ziploc bags that I use sometimes for picking up brass out at the range and a uh, clean canteen water bottle. Let's get in here. So here I have two Maxpedition pouches here and here. These pouches are nice because they just Velcro right to the carpet. So they're Velcro backed, Velcro backed. This I kind of have some normal band-aids and stuff. This I have like tourniquet and combat gauze, stuff like that. I have Leatherman Raptor shears here and I have one of these Rescue Me, which you can just pull right off and break a window or cut a seatbelt. And that's basically it. Um, you know, sometimes I'll have drinks or whatever in here. And then here I have two magnets. So I have this magnet and this magnet. I put my phone on this magnet, kind of when I just don't care and it's down low and I'm playing music or whatever, or I put it up here sometimes if I want more in my face navigation type stuff. So it can do like that or it can go sideways like that if I need it to. Uh, and then my charger can also reach it, which I just have, you know, the standard, I have a dual ones with these charger cables. It's just kind of, I usually just keep it out. Um, if that bugs you, obviously you could put it in your glove box or something. And then I just have more Velcro here. This is my gate opener and my garage door opener. And these are just little Velcro thing here. Put a little Velcro on the back. So that keeps it tucked in. And I have some miscellaneous cards in here, like Costco card and some other stuff that I don't use all the time, but I wanna keep them in my car so I know to use them. I do have a little pepper spray that I keep here, quick access in case there's some kind of any reason, any number of reasons that I might want to go to a pepper spray in case. I got weather text all around and then nothing too crazy in here. Uh, some wet wipes, pair of little gloves, and I keep like plastic silverware in there just because sometimes I forget to bring some camping or want a couple other sets or something. I don't think, I think there's like a hand sanitizer over in that one. And then in here, I keep some snacks, some small bills in case I need to go buy a lottery ticket or something. Uh, and then some miscellaneous tools. This is a little divider. So it's a little plastic thing that divides this, uh, whatever armrest center console thing into more usable space. So just some knickknacks in here, sunscreen I usually keep and some hand lotion and a bigger thing of pepper spray for riots or whatever. And that's about it. In the back here, I keep a pair of headphones that I just work out with and just kind of hang them here so they're out of the way. This is a bigger cup holder that goes inside of that cup holder to basically make it big enough to fit a Nalgene. And then I drink Zip Fizz all the time. It's kind of like my main jam to try and be healthy. So I usually keep those around. And in this back pocket, I keep some stuff. So this is the back driver's side. So if I want quick access to some stuff like here, so these are lead wipes. So I use these after the range to get all the lead and stuff off my hands. They're basically wet wipes, but also have, they're specially made to get lead off. Trash bag here for whatever, if I need to pick up some trash. Uh, this is a vest that I've actually never used, but it's in case I need to change a spare, do something, walk on the freeway, I wanna put this on so someone doesn't hit me. Extra pair of mechanics gloves, I have a map and an umbrella. That's basically it in there. In the back seat, I pretty much don't have anything except for this big snow 
sweep thing, you know, to get snow and ice off your windshield. This bin, I'll keep in here situationally. It's kind of my winter bin. Uh, in here, I just have like a couple extra jackets, snow pants, hand warmers, some water, some things like that in case I get stranded somewhere. Oh, boots. In case I need to change into winter clothes to hike or walk or do something unexpected. Uh, this doesn't always stay in there, so it's kind of... Sometimes it's in there, sometimes it's not. And this is just one of these Plano sportsman's chunks. So in here, the Tacoma actually has pretty good storage. Under the seat, sorry, I haven't vacuumed here so you can see some dog hair and stuff. Underneath I have some miscellaneous junk, paracord rope, an extra belt, uh, tire repair kit, uh, fuel siphon. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm trying not to get too detailed, so I'm kind of bridging the gap between detailed and not. Behind, I have, this is a little Milwaukee 12 volt. I got it with some little Mil Milwaukee 12 volt tools that I had, and I just filled it with all kinds of tools. This is kind of like a basic tool set. Um, actually, a lot of cool stuff in here. Maybe I'll, when I do a longer video, again, let me know down below if you wanna see me really dive deep into what's in here. So fire extinguishers, some road flare type things, and a little jump starter thing, maybe a couple things. I think like some three or four mil heavy duty trash bags are in there. I like this bag because it's kind of the perfect size to allow the seat back to still hook in, but allow the seat to close. Back here on the passenger side door, I keep another kind of heavy duty or pair of mechanics gloves and just an extra leash for my dog in case I take him somewhere and forget to bring his leash. It's kind of like a backup. We have some storage underneath this seat as well. Tacoma's pretty nicely laid out for storage. Man, I need a vacuum back here. So I have a regular toe strap. So when I go out wheeling or whatever, I bring another strap, uh, the snatch strap, the stretchy kind. Uh, but this is a regular toe strap. Uh, and yeah, jumper cables, jack, um, wheel lock thing in here. Eh, that's about it under there. And so behind the seat, there is storage too. I do have the JBL system, so I don't have as much storage because I have the subwoofer down here. Uh, but I put these little bins, again, I put Velcro on top of the sub and Velcro on the bottom of these little bins. I just got them from like Walmart or maybe Amazon. And I keep some extra clothes and socks and miscellaneous in case I'm going on a hike somewhere and I forget to bring a hat. Uh, just some extra stuff back there out of the way. So you can see really with a lot of stuff stored in this truck, I still, it's pretty wide open. So going around to the back, I do keep stuff in here all the time. So this is my winter tub. So I have kind of a winter tub and a summer tub uh, relative to the climate and road conditions, obviously. In this one, I have tire chains, extra washer fluid, some blankets, tarps, things like that, uh, that are specific to winter. And then summer, I have a much smaller kind of tub. I don't even know this summer. I may not even put a tub in. I may just have enough stuff in my truck that I don't even have a tub back here. But this is obviously just, if I need to take it out or pull it out for whatever, it's no problem. Um, and then I have these are generic max tracks that I just bought to keep in here in case I get stuck somewhere in the snow and need to get out. Uh, I may get legit max tracks to mount up somewhere when I kind of build this thing out a little more. And then back up in here is, so this is all under a Diamondback cover. So this is the Diamondback cover that I still love. I did a whole review on this. This is their cross bin. This is the eight inch deep one. So what that means is I can still put stuff back in here full length and I still ha can utilize that whole space. But up top, which is kind of like wasted space, I have a bunch of other stuff, which I'll show you. So again, I'm not getting too deep in here. This is just ignore this Pelican case. Uh, these racks on top of this diamond back so I can put my rooftop tent set up. It's kind of my main jam. And maybe I'll set this thing all up like more overland style when I have everything and do kind of a walk around then. So these two panels fold up. Um, this one folds up and the back one obviously folds this way uh, with these, they are locked, I unlocked it so I could open it for you guys. And then back in here, that cross bin I was just talking about, I store a bunch of other stuff. It is dusty actually right now. So the Tacoma beds aren't that sealed. There's a lot of cracks like this that I could probably put some weather stripping in. Ooh, dirty. Or caulk or something. But the, it doesn't keep all the dust out, but obviously lowers it quite a bit. So here I have like a thick jacket, uh, some other stuff. I think like a little 
tire inflator. This is my whole get home bag and some thicker trash bags. And I believe I have like a bolt cutter, maybe an ax, a shovel, bunch of stuff fits into this bin, which is awesome. I'm actually in the process of swapping out to a new get home bag. Uh, Vanquest's Ibex 35 is going to be my new one. So stay tuned for that. So anyways, a lot of stuff. Obviously, I have a truck, so it has a little more room for this kind of stuff. But if you took out the winter tub, basically my whole bed is still pretty much empty aside from this bin, which is filled with things. Uh, pretty cool things, though, I think. And a get-home bag, for those that don't know, it's like a bug-out bag. And maybe you don't know what a bug-out bag is, but it's basically to get you from point A to point B. So get home bag has enough to theoretically get me from the furthest point I will be driving, which for me is my office, back home in the event of EMP, natural disaster, whatever. So in here is kind of some survival gear. I'll do a whole new get home bag video once I build a new one out. But anyways, that's, that's that. So yeah, I do like the diamond back cover because it's just bomb proof. Uh, nobody's getting in here. I mean, obviously people can break into anything, but Smash and grabber is not going to be able to get in here. So the contents of my get home bag and stuff is probably like the most expensive thing that I keep in my truck at all times. So I still do really like this from my needs. Rack on top, valuables inside. It's, it's a good setup. All right, guys, that's it. I'll link to some of this stuff down below. But again, this video wasn't like a full detailed breakdown of everything I keep in my truck. I did do one of those a long time ago, just kind of like on a whim. I did it. Maybe I'll do another one with the gear that I currently have in my truck. A little bit of it has changed, but largely it's it's the same as another video, which I think is just like EDC truck gear, if you want to search my channel for it and are interested. Uh, again, if you want to see that video, let me know. Again, if you want to see more truck videos, let me know. I am, like I said earlier, planning a lift and some other mods to my truck to make it a little more overland, off-road friendly. So stay tuned for that. I will be doing videos on that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll be setting it up. Uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of research, so hopefully I get some good things in here. All right, I think that's it, guys. Take care.